One of the things that we have been saying to you lately is that once you get into that receiving mode and the vibration turns to a thought, you have to be ready before you can receive that thought. But once you receive that thought, then you're ready to be ready, to be ready, to be ready, to be ready, to be ready. Many of you, you probably all have a story about how you got here for Esther. Jerry and Esther were business people and they were far away from any of this woo woo metaphysical mumbo jumbo. In fact, a woman came up to Jerry one day and said, I can see your aura. And he made sure he never got close to her again. <laughs> that was just weird. And then one day Jerry is in a library. Now Jerry had been reading for many years and teaching from it, think and grow rich. And so reading that book got him ready and as he introduced it to Esther it helped her to be ready and then one day he was in a library we're just giving you the very big peak readiness moments he was in a library and he looked up and he saw a book called Seth Speaks it was written by Jane Roberts and he felt such an impulse he took that book and he brought it home and he began reading it and it had a terrible picture by Esther's perspective of Jane on the back of the book and so Esther was not ready she was not ready but Jerry was ready and so Jerry read the book and Esther was not ready and she said you can read that book but don't read it when I'm around all right and I'm always around so so Jerry would get up early in the morning when Esther was not so around and read the book and then he would find something that he thought would resonate with Esther because it had resonated with him. And so he would read this little bit to Esther and she would feel resonance with it. She wouldn't be able to say I'm ready because she didn't even know what that was about, but she was more ready. And so eventually he was reading more and more and more and it was making some sense, it was talking about some of these same things. And then one day a friend came to them, a friend that they knew from business, and they said, we have a recording we'd like you to hear. And they said, well, what is it? And they said, well, it's channeled. Well, Esther was not ready for that. But they eventually put it in. And this woman was coming through Phoenix. And they could set a time aside. In other words, ready to be ready to be ready. During that conversation, this woman encouraged them to meditate. Meditate? How weird is that? Esther was not ready to meditate. She thought of people at the airport standing around on one foot with her hand out. That's what meditation would lead to, she was sure. I'll be oming in the airport and begging for money. <laughs> what do you mean meditate? Well, sit in a quiet room and wear comfortable clothing and focus upon your breathing. And when your mind wanders, and it will, focus back on the thought. Well, Esther was ready for that. In other words, ready to be ready, to be ready, to be ready. And so when you realize that your inner being knows what you're ready for and is always giving you those impulses for what you are ready for, then one thing just leads to another and to another and to another. Well, that's perfect because my question is about working with 30 people in a room who are at varying stages of ready yes. and probably yes. the dominant vibration is not ready on some level. And yet they're there. And yet they're there. So they are asking. And that asking does cause there to be some readiness. We're not just talking about those of you, and there are a lot of you who are teaching others, because having a sensitivity to their readiness is a good thing. But it's only important that you pay attention to your own readiness, because when you are open to this energy, then what you receive will be just right for what's going on there. Say you're in a room with 30 people. Is that what you said? Mm -hmm. And as you say, are at various stages of readiness. But you are really tuned in, tapped in, turned on. Because you know what it feels like to feel exhilaration. You know what it feels like to feel clarity rather than confusion. You have been meditating. You are in that place where you are in the receiving mode. And don't you find yourself, once you begin, that what flows to you and through you is beneficial in lots of different ways? It's not like you consciously know. Esther will say, 
about her experience of allowing us to flow through in order to talk to you or to reach to you or to answer you or to find you and feel you that she says I never get the backstory I never really know I only hear it as it's coming because inner being knows your inner beings are there knowing in other words it's a wonderful thing when you get into this vibrational reality where all of the questions are understood and all of the answers are understood and all of the problems are understood and all of the solutions are understood and then to the degree of your readiness you receive your answer or your solution you see but if you force an answer or a solution to someone who's not ready for it they're going to just like in the conversation that we had earlier they're going to put up their walls of resistance if they're not ready think about it if you ask someone to do something before they have enough information that they feel inspired to do it don't they always say no and you do too and so it really is about you being in the receiving mode and then once in the receiving mode then others may or may not be but that's not ever your job because there is no law of assertion there is only a law of attraction and so as you tune into who you are and you begin receiving and flowing some of them will be ready I am getting a lot of guidance in my meditation on exercises and questions and things I'm listening to that and I guess why I'm here and why I wanted coaching from infinite intelligence is we like those words and you're all being coached from infinite intelligence that's why we asked you to be in the receiving mode so you can hear the coaching because it's moment by moment it's not the big picture they're not going to draw out a big diagram for you so that you can see every step that you're going to take they're just going to say come over here come over here come over here come over here you see when you're ready to be ready to be ready to be ready meaning you're here and satisfied and then here and satisfied and then here and satisfied this is the formula for happily ever after if you're ready for an idea but then you want to jump from the idea right into the full action or activity or even words about it very often as you make that jump you lose your connection because you're not ready for that and then you lose the momentum that would be there otherwise so the key is to reach for satisfaction to reach for as much as you can find and still feel good and not reach beyond it when you push yourself too far or you push others too far so the satisfaction turns to dissatisfaction now you've lost the momentum and you can't bridge that gap so that's kind of the moment that's the key moment where I can think of three areas of my life that really are what my heart desires more than any area and I'm focused on an outcome that's too many steps most ahead. Are. Those are perfect words. And most are because let's face it. Let's face reality. No, let's create reality. But the reason you do that is because the tangible is intoxicating. Seeing it and hearing it and then smelling it and tasting it and touching it. And also, you're really going to like this. Because of the manifestation of something there's a lot of momentum in it in the way that we're asking you to be ready for something you want ready to be ready to be ready to be ready and then when it blossoms into that full manifestation it's so exhilarating Esther said to us Abraham I know that you want me to be happy over here in the dreaming stage or in the imagining stage or in the just letting it be stage but I have to tell you I really 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 like manifestations and we know you really like manifestations but you've got to be ready for it in order for the manifestation to happen and so in the same way that we're asking you to be ready and ready and ready and that momentum is ensuing momentum is becoming more and more and more that works with things wanted and unwanted as well in the same way that you might start worrying about something and fussing about it and then the more you do it now you're talking to someone about it now you've joined an organization about it and now you're blogging about it and now you're leading the organization about it there's a lot of momentum there and the negative emotion is getting stronger and stronger because there is momentum in anything that you focus upon so the key is to slow the momentum on unwanted things while you increase the momentum on wanted things and the only way that you can do that effectively is by paying attention to the way that you feel so if you manage to quiet your mind 
Here's what we really want you to hear. This is the piece that you're asking for that will make the difference for you. You're ready for this. So the reason that you like to jump into the action faster is because there's already momentum there, but you might not be ready for it. And so you can't make the jump, but it feels like a better choice to you because it's more tangible. It's more satisfying to you because there's more to see and there's more to hear and so on. But if you could meditate on Sunday morning and then get as far as you can get into the day feeling satisfaction and then on Monday and get as far as you can get into the day feeling satisfaction and then on Tuesday, what begins to happen is this absence of momentum begins to become more momentum until the momentum of the wanted is as decipherable by you than what you're seeing and hearing and smelling and tasting and touching. It begins to feel like there's this sort of magical flow where doors are opening and things are unfolding. Esther and some friends, Esther was saying, let's really get into the dreaming stages of something. Let's really get into the dreaming stages. And so she said, let's go look at real estate. And so they called someone they knew who could get access to anything in the area. And they went and looked at some beachfront property right on the beach. And oh, it was so nice. The surf is coming right up on their feet and the sound of it is so lovely. And the price tag is so big, <laughs> so big. And so dreaming felt nice, but moving into the action felt uncomfortable, not ready. So Esther dreamed a little more and started adding up all of her assets and in her mind started liquidating <laughs> her entire life and some future life. And she managed to take that good feeling, energy moving, satisfying thought to a place that did not feel good. Cold sweats, <laughs> need a drink of water. In 24 hours, she went from the happiest girl you've ever known to someone who's worried about money because she's not ready to be ready, to be ready, to be ready, to be ready, even if her inner being can see a path of least resistance to it. She's not ready for whatever it is. In other words, she jumped too far too fast. You see what we're getting at? So the best way to get ready is to savor and expand really the base of that joy when it's there. You're really touching exactly on it because savor and satisfied as you savor the idea of it, as you acknowledge that the beach is there. In other words, they can go put their feet in the water anytime they want to. It is holding yourself as best you can in a place of as most satisfaction as you can, because in satisfaction, there is no resistance. Hear it in satisfaction. Even if it's just a dream, there's no resistance. And when there's no resistance, momentum will happen. And the momentum will carry you to any place that you want to be or do or have. There is nothing that is off limits. But when you try to jump too far, you, we love you so much, introduce resistance into your equation and you stop the process. And that's all that's ever happening. No one is more entitled to the good stuff than you. And those who are living in manifestation. So you're getting the sense of these gestures over here. We're talking about the pure positive energy where your inner being is getting ready to be ready to be ready to be ready to be ready. And here's the manifestation where you can see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it and own it and play property taxes on it. <laughs> A lot of property taxes. No one is more entitled to these manifestations than you are. But if you keep shooting yourself in the foot, you're not ever going to get there. You have to be satisfied to be satisfied.